Hello guys, it's Johnny time again. But before we start with our decentralized finance tutorial, I really want to say a big thank you. Thank you guys for watching my videos, for subscribing to the channel, for writing these amazing comments that I read them and they give me more motivation to keep going and keep creating more good quality content for you guys and going on through this journey together with you. I cannot believe that we reached 1000 subscribers in less than three months this is absolutely amazing I'm, and i'm very grateful for it so thank you so much once again and let's do it let's go to 10,000 and 100,000 together in this DeFi crypto and financial freedom together thank you so much and now let's get into the video hello guys it's jonathan and welcome to another decentralized finance tutorial today we are going to learn how we can bridge our tokens from ethereum to polygon matic network actually i found this amazing farm using a polygon on b5 finance using apeswap that you can provide matic and die token and earn more than 100 percent api yearly and actually I'm already holding some Matic tokens and some DAI tokens, so I said why would I hold it on Ethereum blockchain if I can bridge it into Polygon Network and generate those nice yields. So that's why I said alright, I'm gonna bridge it anyway, I'm gonna pay high fees for Ethereum, so why wouldn't I make a video and show other people how you can bridge very very easily from Ethereum to Polygon chain but before we start make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and click the small bell notification button so anytime i post new videos you can watch them right away and also i want to thank very much to yard on for making the music that you hear in the background for this channel thank you yard now let's get into business and see how we can transfer our matic and DAI tokens directly from the ethereum chain to the Matic blockchain. Um, I'm already transferred the Matic tokens and now what's left, now the transaction, the first transaction of transferring the Matic from Ethereum to Polygon Network, the tokens are already in progress. Now I will start to do the transaction to transfer the DAI tokens to the Ethereum blockchain. So here you will need to go to wallet.matic.network and then go to slash bridge. Or you can just click here on apps and then now I can go to Polygon Wallet, but if I go to the mine website, if I will click here apps, I will go here to Polygon Bridge. And then there you go, this is the bridge user interface. You will have definitely to be on Ethereum blockchain because you send transaction on the Ethereum blockchain to a smart contract that actually uh, perform as a bridge to the Polygon network. So the tokens, the Matic and DAI tokens in that case will be burned on the Ethereum blockchain and they will be minted on the Polygon chain. So I already done with the Matic token, let's do now the DAI tokens. I'm gonna transfer around 7,000 DAI tokens from Ethereum to Polygon Matic. So first thing that I will have to do is change my chain to Ethereum blockchain. So let's do it. All right, so I can see my Matic tokens did, hasn't been transferred yet, but now we will change it to the Ethereum blockchain because we want to send the DAI token. So now once I'm in the Ethereum blockchain, I will select here and instead Ether, I will choose my DAI tokens and then I will click, let's do 7,000 tokens. So I'm gonna switch the DAI from Ethereum to Polygon chain. That's easily, the user interface is very, very easy a uh, nice it's a uh, polygon bridge using proof of stake bridge i will just click transfer here and it, it will just tell me that there will be a prompt that i'm gonna move funds from ethereum to polygon in total there will be two transactions on ethereum it's quite expensive but this is one time transaction so it's worth it because it's gonna generate much more yield on the polygon chain in that case and it will take around seven to eight minutes so i'm gonna click here continue Oh, now the transaction is a bit cheaper. Uh, I'm gonna pay $5 for the first transaction and there another $16 to the second transaction. So I click here, continue, and I'm gonna use transfer mode POS bridge, POS security provided by POS validators, proof of stake validators. It will take approximately three hours when you have to transfer your funds back to Ethereum. I don't care because I don't plan to send them back to the Ethereum chain. So I'm gonna click here and 
will wait to the MetaMask prompt and then of course I will approve the transaction. Alright, so it's slightly higher, $7.5, I will just send it and I'm gonna send the transaction. Alright, one transaction has been said, now this is the first transaction, this is the approval of approving the contract to use your DAI tokens. You can see that here the transaction is in progress, you can watch it on Etherscan. Ethereum transactions can take longer time to complete based upon network congestion. Okay, it's done. The first transaction has been done. They approve. I approved the smart contract to use my DAI tokens and now I'm going to send the second transaction which is the actual bridging the tokens from Ethereum to Polygon. It will cost slightly higher, around $16. So if you do it with small amounts, it doesn't worth it, but in that case, 7,000 DAI is quite high amount, so I'm willing to pay this kind of $16. I will just click send and approve the transaction. And the transaction has been sent to the blockchain. Now it's on the mempool. We are waiting that the Ethereum validators, Ethereum miner will pick it up, inject it into the upcoming block hopefully, and then the tokens, the DAI tokens will be disappeared from my uh, Ethereum chain and will be minted on the Polygon chain. Of course, you will have to add to MetaMask the Polygon chain uh, RPC node. If you don't know how to do it, don't worry, I have another tutorial. I'll put it a link to this tutorial video tutorial in the description below, but actually automatically, it basically should um, edit once you click on the Polygon bridge or Polygon wallet, you it's automatically will prompt you to MetaMask wallet to add a Polygon chain. So approximately after 10-15 minutes, you are supposed to see the tokens, the DAI tokens in my case, 7000 DAI tokens and then MATIC tokens on the other side, on the Polygon chain and of course they will be disappeared from the Ethereum chain. Now, both of my transactions, you can see the 5,000 something DAI MATIC tokens and 7,000 DAI tokens actually are now a transaction in progress. It will take a while, but eventually you're supposed to sit on the MATIC chain. And then using this kind of BFI finance, I'm going to actually um, stake, provide liquidity on ApeSwap for this MATIC and DAI token. Maybe I will make another tutorial how I'm going to do it on Polygon, um, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna provide this kind of liquidity on using B5 Finance. I'm gonna stake it using on B5 Finance. I'm gonna use ApeSwap smart contracts and earn this nice 106% yearly APYs. So this was a tutorial of bridging Ethereum to Polygon Matic chain. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to help you. And please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It really, really helps. And thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.